This is a CBS News special report. I'm Charlie Rose with Nora O'Donnell and Gail King in New York. A Supreme Court ruling announced minutes ago extends same-sex marriage in America. The justices ruled five to four that states do not have the right to outlaw same-sex unions. The high court also ruled that all 50 states must recognize same-sex marriages performed in other states. This is a historic day. Jan Crawford is outside the Supreme Court and she has a copy of this morning's decision. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So the crowd is packed and you cannot imagine the roar of this crowd when it became evident the first decision the court was going to announce today was the landmark ruling that this crowd has been waiting for and this nation has been waiting for. And a 5-4 decision written by Justice Anthony Kennedy and joined by the four liberal justices, the Supreme Court has affirmed same-sex marriage is the law of the land. It is a constitutional right to, for gays and lesbian couples to marry in every state in this country, which means all 50 states now. Currently, 37 were recognizing a right of gays and lesbians to marry. Now, all 50 states must recognize and perform same-sex marriages. The conservative justices have each separately written dissenting opinions, but I think in many ways this case is no surprise with Justice Anthony Kennedy, also a conservative, writing this opinion. You can tell, I, we're just going to be going through it now over the next hours to come, uh, but you can tell that it is produced, like I, I can show you all the pages here, uh, very passionate uh, responses from the conservatives, but I can assure you a passionate opinion from Justice Kennedy. He sees this as his issue. Going back to 2003, he has been the pivotal voice on this court for gay rights, and today he did not disappoint. Same-sex marriage, she wrote, must be allowed under the United States Constitution. Uh, Jan, as you were saying, and this is clearly uh, where Justice Kennedy was expected to go, but it is significant that he gave them the five to four majority. That's true, because you never know with Justice Kennedy. He typically sides with conservatives on most issues. But on the issue of gay rights, he's always seen it as one that was demeaning to gays and lesbians that they were treated differently. He worried about the dignity of gays and lesbians, the one, particularly people with children and families. He was very uh, passionate at the oral arguments in this case, although difficult to read, I, I thought. So there was some question, would he go this far? But I think most people believed, and they were proven correct today, that Justice Kennedy Kennedy would continue on the path that he started back in 2003. And I was in the courtroom uh, back then in 2003 when he ruled that gays and lesbians could not be prosecuted for consensual sex in their bedrooms. That's how far this court has come. That was just in 2003. But his voice, when he was summarizing that opinion, almost cracked. People in the courtroom were weeping at what was seen as such an historic ruling then. This today is in many ways the exclamation point, the final chapter, Justice Kennedy, his legacy for the court mm -hmm. and for this nation, same-sex marriage is the law of the land. Jan, let's talk about the practical implications for the people of America. 37 states recognize same-sex marriage. What does it mean for people in those other 13 states? It means that when this decision is implemented, they will be allowed to marry. Whether you're in Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, states where voters have said, we do not want to allow this, the Supreme Court is ruling, that doesn't matter because what matters is the Constitution. And the court has said the Constitution requires that gays and lesbians be treated equally, that they have a right to marry. That means that in every state, gays and lesbians will be allowed to marry just like heterosexual couples, despite, as I said, very staunch dissents from the four conservative justices who have always emphasized that states should be able to make this decision. Yeah, such a landmark ruling, and you sort of answer, answered it, Jan. I was wondering what the dissenting opinion said. What is their overwhelming argument? Well, okay, so let me just say this was shoved in our hands yes. literally within minutes states. of getting. But I can tell you based on what the justices have said in the past that this is a state's issue and they've each written separately to make their points. There will be much to digest in this ruling uh, and this debate, of course, is going to continue in America. But if you look at the polls, uh, public opinion has shifted yes. dramatically on the issue of gay marriage and in some ways the court is tracking right along with that public opinion. So while, yes, this is going to remain a deeply divisive issue, not only at this Supreme Court, but in the nation, uh, polls are showing that public opinion is changing rapidly. Well, Jan, just to underline the significance of this, it puts this decision, I assume, up along with Brown versus Board of Education and other places that have had profound impact 
on people in America. Charlie, many people have said that this is the civil rights issue of our time. And that is the way gay rights advocates are going to be seeing it and characterizing it. And I can't tell you, uh, and I don't know how loud this noise is coming through yes. in the microphone, but yeah. it's euphoric. The mood is literally jubilant, euphoric. Uh, people are, the, the cheers are immense because that is the way they see it. They believe, gays and lesbians have always argued that it is unfair to treat them. They're just like everybody else. And that's what Justice Kennedy embraced in this ruling today, that gays and lesbians cannot be treated differently under the Constitution when it comes to marriage. Now, there'll be a lot of open questions. There's a lot for us to digest in this decision about how broadly uh, this ruling could be applied. What does it mean, say, for other forms of discrimination, discrimination in the workplace? That's all uh, going to be contained in these pages, and so the debates in some of those areas will continue. But a landmark ruling on same-sex marriage, a, a fight that people have waged for a generation, uh, being rewarded today with a victory, five to four, with Justice Kennedy writing it. Historic indeed, and we are expecting to hear from President Barack Obama after this decision. Bill Plant is at the White House. Bill? Well, you know, Nora, they're just as euphoric here, I think, but probably a little lower key. You saw those pictures yesterday of the celebration in the Oval Office when the Affordable Health Care Act was affirmed. I'm sure we'll see pictures like that in the wake of this Supreme Court victory for the administration. The White House was a little more concerned about health care than they were about this particular case because they believed that Justice Kennedy, who had a strong record of being in favor of gay rights, would probably provide the swing vote as he did in this five to four decision. They weren't quite so sure about the health care vote, which of course uh, was joined by the Chief Justice yesterday, giving him a six to three victory. But this provides a string of victories for the White House, something that the president can add to his uh, resume, uh, to his list of accomplishments. We know that we will hear from him later today. We're not sure exactly when. All right, Bill Plant reporting live from Washington. The vote was five to four. You know already this is a landmark decision. Jan, can you tell us any more about it, how it broke down? Um, well, you know, Justice Kennedy in, in the majority decision, joined by the four liberal justices, um, uh, just, just some of the language in here is really going to be so affirming and so powerful for gay and lesbian couples. And, and he's almost saying to them, I get it. I know what you're feeling, and the Constitution does not allow you to be excluded. And I'm just going to read you this, this one passage. Their plea is that they, they do respect the idea of marriage, respect it so deeply that they seek to find its fulfillment for theirself, themselves. Their hope is not to be condemned to live in loneliness, excluded from one of civilization's oldest institutions. They ask for equal dignity in the eyes of the law. The Constitution grants them that right. Mm -hmm. And I think that that kind of powerful language um, going much further in some ways that even the holding is what gays and lesbians have so hoped for and so wanted, that they cannot be excluded, uh, that they belong and should be able to participate in this institution just like everyone else. Jan, somebody just tweeted that gay marriage can now officially be called marriage, everybody. You can tell by the, the uh, reaction from the crowd out there, they feel that too. That's a great point. Yeah. Exactly. Do we call it same-sex marriage, gay marriage, heterosexual marriage? <laughs> marriage. It's just, just marriage. Yeah. It's just marriage. Um, let me ask you, Jan, I understand that of the four dissents of the justices that dissented, that each of them wrote one. Talk about the significance of that. That is correct. And sometimes you see, and again, we're getting through these dissents, uh, the Chief Justice, Justice Scalia, uh, Alito, and Thomas. Um, have all written with their own opinions. And you sometimes see that, particularly on controversial cases. And this was a complex case. Uh, the issue may seem simple, but there are a lot of ways the court could have resolved it on different constitutional grounds. And so they're going to explain their own viewpoint. And they all may come down in slightly different ways about why they're saying that the court is wrong. But at the end of the day, they're the dissenters. Did anybody and uh, that's not... Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm just <laughs> getting... Let me give you this just an example. 
Um, here is uh, a passage from Justice Alito, uh, a very uh, a conservative justice, and he has said, and this is how he's casting this, today's de decision usurps the constitutional right of the people to decide whether to keep or alter the traditional understanding of marriage. So that is how you're hearing from the conservative justices that this should have been left to the people to decide. And if you think about it, and this was a point that John Roberts made at the argument, the Chief Justice, the people are deciding in favor of same-sex marriage. So why not just let this legislative, uh, political debate play out mm -hmm. instead of having the courts come in and say this is how it has to be? Because of what we were saying earlier, 30 or 7 states already are allowing it. So let this continue to play out and let the people decide. But the Supreme Court today said that is not good enough. And it's ruling and, and affirming that the right to, to be full participants in our institutions is, is going to be a very powerful statement, not only for the holding, but for the words in this decision. All right, Jan Crawford, thank you. And I know Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill and has reaction from some of the 2016 presidential candidates. This is going to be an issue in the campaign, is it not, Nancy? It absolutely is, Nora, and we've already heard from uh, the top Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton, who tweeted, uh, proud to celebrate a historic victory for marriage equality. Uh, and then I don't know how well you can see this, but she tweeted out a second time uh, with the word history in rainbow oh, lettering. So this is something that she and other Democrats are celebrating. Martin O'Malley also tweeting. He's the former governor of, of uh, Maryland who's running for president. Today, the Supreme Court affirmed that marriage is a human right, not not a state right. Uh, this is something that even Republicans uh, saw coming. They saw which way the winds were blowing when it came to public opinion, and this had become an increasingly tricky issue for them. They've been a bit muted as of late because uh, they knew that the Supreme Court was likely to take this step. Uh, they knew uh, that many in the country uh, felt that this was a right, but at the same time, they knew their base felt very differently. All right, Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill, and certainly a historic day I'll here say. in America, the Supreme Cup Court upholding uh, marriage for all Americans. All marriages are equal under the law as of this decision. Yeah, and it was, it's already legal in 37 states, and now the other 13 states. I love the tweet that someone just said, right. gay marriage is now marriage. Our coverage okay. will continue throughout the day on the CBS station and on our 24-hour digital network, CBSN. Mm -hmm. Watch it at cbsnews.com slash live. Many of you will turn now to CBS This Morning. This has been a CBS News special report. I'm Charlie Rose with Nora O'Donnell and Gail King, CBS News, New York. For news 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com.